Dale Yuzuki with Behind the Bench here at Iron World Tour Berlin. This afternoon, we're hearing from Nicole Farr of the University Hospital Heidelberg. Nicole, can you elaborate a little bit more about your work with FFPE samples? So, uh, using FFPE material is very difficult to use uh, because we have always uh, low DNA qualities. We have uh, problems uh, by preparation in the library or by um, 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 because of the occurrence of many fixation artifacts in these samples and uh, especially that the DNA is almost degraded. So we have uh, fragments of about below 200 base pair length. So yeah, and so therefore you also talked about the sample preparation. Sometimes you have very small amounts of input. Yeah. But AmpliSeq works well for by and large. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it, it, it works quite good for even for low uh, concentrated samples. And you said that the failure, sort of the DNA QC failure rate was re still relatively low. It was about, what, 7.7% .7 yeah, you said? Yeah, yeah. It was in the range, I, I heard from a speaker just in Manchester who talked about a 7% failure ah, okay. rate. So you're right in that range of 5 to 7%. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we're working on to reduce this uh, rate. Yeah. yeah, and in the question and answer, somebody asked about pre-amplification. You yeah, said, no, you don't bother. No, no, no. Yeah. This is, um, so we would create more arti uh, artificial artifacts, so, so this mm -hmm. is not uh, valuable for our research. Uh, yeah. yeah, and then you also mentioned that due to fixation artifacts, there are certain types of recurring artifactual changes. Yeah. Can you elaborate a little bit on that? Uh, um, yeah, I, I mean, we know the region where many fixation artifacts occur, so uh, if you know uh, example, a special amplicon with many mutations, we exclude this from our further analysis. So, uh, because it's almost an artifact. I see. Yeah. And you also talked about on the analysis pipeline, you're using Iron Reporter on a local server. Yeah. And that uh, uh, in addition to the Iron Reporter tools for alignment, for variant calling, for annotation, use some alternative tools. Yeah, so we use all also the CLC genomic workbench and compare the results from both analysis pipelines. Yes, well. and that is just to get a better understanding yeah. of yeah. the variant calling yeah. and the reliability of the data. What happens when there's a conflict? So we go in detail into the IGV browser and look at the sequence uh, in detail and, and uh, look which is the correct variant or if there is no variant or uh, to see if this is a fixation artifact or something else. Yes. Well, great. Thank you very yeah. much for your time okay, today, Nicole. You. This is Dale. Follow us on the Iron World Tour at lifetechnologies.com forward slash behind the bench. And if you have any uh, questions for Nicole, feel free to ask in the comments.